what they're missing is that if you just be quiet and hang out here and not have any expectations of a, a big bang of ecstasy and just go through that period. Now you went really high and now you're, you, it looks like you're going down. But if you just chill out and relax into this moment and not look for anything extravagant, anything like exaggerated, then you will tap into the beauty of the moment because it doesn't have spikes. It can have spikes, but you, if you're not looking for spikes to go up and down and up and down, then you find this steady rhythm of bliss continuously in every moment of your life. It's steady. And that's what we're looking for. And that's where we need guidance because we, we do a lot of work. We go to a lot of different workshops, seminars, lectures, da 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 da, with known people, unknown people, whatever. But then we keep missing this other part of it. Of that the present moment, the beauty of the present moment, the vastness of it, the richness of it, is not about having an amazing spiritual experience in every moment of it. That can happen. It's about the simplicity of it. And it's con continuity that if you tune in, if you can disconnect yourself from the story and your mind and just hang out in here and even accept that it can be boring here and even bring that into the equation that here yeah, it could be there are moments like nothing's happening. And if I can go beyond that, maybe it's boring. Because I was expecting, Zarathustra says, in this moment, in the vastness, wow, it's really rich. I'm not talking about it's rich or vast. That means you're stimulated all the time. It's not about stimulation. It's about this subtle subtlety of it that you're relaxing in here and all of a sudden you're looking around, you're looking in the garden and because you're here and you're not stuck up in this bullshit and you start looking at the plants in your garden and you start checking them out and seeing like there's like family of different plants and they like they have a story going on with them there's a celebration going on then you look down and you see like an army of ants are going from one place to another place and they are carrying food to store it for winter and they have a whole colony of a story going on there but you never noticed it. And then you're hearing like there's birds. All of a sudden, a group of birds, they're singing, they're talking. There's like a seminar going on of these birds. And you are noticing that too. Like before you, you, too, you were too stuck in your head, mind fucking all the time of your daily activities life and now all of a sudden you're hearing them just singing and having a symphony and they're talking to another tribe of birds on the other side they're sending messages so you start to all of a sudden with the subtle stuff recognizing like oh my god this is really rich this moment that in traditional way, there is no entertainment happening in it. But, wow, 
I mean, there's so much happening around me right now with so many different stuff, with the birds, with the ants, with the plants, that all of a sudden you start to recognize how vast and rich the moment is because you're never in this moment. You're always somewhere else or you're on your phone or you're trying to get somewhere and, you know, or whatever is the story. And you start to relax into the moment. And then as you're relaxing into the moment, the moment starts to throw these pearls at you. This realization starts to happen, this relaxation this starts to take place. And this tension that you have in your body, your emotional body and physical body, there's this tension that you have. And a lot of you don't even know there's tension, constant tension. it starts to just, the tension starts to subsidize and just relaxes. And the chakra starts to open up and juice starts to, to flow. The chakra is starting to flow because you start, your breath starts to get synchronized with the breath of the planet in this moment you start to come to a synchronization and starting the expansion starts to happen and you start to just feel like wow I there's so much love here I love myself and it's so beautiful and you start to dive into the simple moment without any really significant event. And if a significant event happens, which does happen, which is amazing, but you're not looking for these big spikes of spiritual oneness or meeting a trans-dimensional being or Christ appears on your your life or Buddha or, you know, looking for these big emotional, spiritual, uh, looking for these spiritual experiences all the time, you, so, you start to settle in here and then you start to appreciate and be grateful your perspective starts to change because you start to see so much beauty in the present moment, even in ugliness and diversity of war or famine or whatever is happening, you start to find the life force, the consciousness running through all of it and you start to detect it and see it, that there is a rhythm in it. And gratitude comes. You become grateful. For whatever number of years you have on this planet, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're here for a day. Maybe you're here for 50 more years. It doesn't matter. The quality of the moment matters. Not the duration of it. Because majority of people are dead. A lot of them are alive but dead. You know, you go to these, some of these traditional families or, you know, secular families that they're really stuck into this and that and everything's about, you know, savings for the future and 401k and what's going to happen to the world and everything's about just go to work and make money and make babies and, you know, it's like really it, this stuck way of thousands of years of one dimensionality 